good to have the sun. <laughs> it's still uh, raining a little bit right now, but uh, it's okay. I'll take it. So I thought of what I'd like to do uh, with that gold that I refined in an earlier video. I refined some 10 karat gold uh, into 24 karat gold. But rather than, rather than trying to cast it into something, it's not really enough gold for that, I thought I would hammer it uh, into a pendant and create a die on the lathe of the first three planets in the solar system uh, that represent my daughter's birthday. Now I'm going to use a, a different date. With my tools available here, uh, I could make a die on the lathe. Obviously the die would have to be, you know, circular, but I'm going to place uh, Mercury, Venus, and Earth in the their positions as they were on my daughter's birthday so that I uh, make a relief of the solar system in the position as it was. So I'm using a piece of software here called uh, Celestia. This is uh, a Linux machine I'm working on um, right now, but you can, I think, get this for, for Windows uh, and Mac as it's an open source uh, application, and it's quite, uh, quite interesting. I won't go into uh, Celestia. So, so this software actually uh, is able to basically calculate the orbit at whatever date and time uh, you'd like. Okay, so what that gives us is uh, a view of the solar system at Saturday the 15th of June 2000 at 3 a.m. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to select uh, the, the birthday and uh, take a position of these three planets. I'll carve those out on the lathe on a piece of metal that I can then use as a die uh, to, stamp, to stamp my gold that I flattened, this 24 karat gold piece. I decided to come down to do this on the beach here. I um, found a piece of uh, scrap 6061 T6 aluminum. It's a fairly hard one. I do have some steel, but I think I'm going to try to use this just because it's already scrap. I don't want to waste any of my uh, good materials out here. And so since I'm going to be using this die only once, I think it'll survive. Uh, and just as a matter of point too, uh, generally speaking, uh, jewelry gold is usually alloy. 24 karat gold is very soft, but it's going to be a fairly thick little pendant. It just has to support its own weight, so I, I don't think it's going to be an issue, and uh, I kind of like the idea of using pure gold for it. I decided just to uh, trim trim off a piece with a hacksaw out here, and I decided to do that on the beach today because it's beautiful today. <laughs> the sun is out, and uh, take advantage of it when it's when it's here. Didn't have the camera on uh, when I started hammering this gold, but you can see I've just got this piece of uh, zinc plated steel there, galvanized steel, just to you know keep the rust from getting pounded into the gold. Uh, it is quite soft. It is pure. Now I'm going to try and just hammer it so that it's pretty even, but then after I get it uh, you know to approximately the diameter that I'm looking for. Uh, I'll actually, after we make the die, I'll press it in this vise rather than hammer it, uh, like stamp it that way.
All right, I've just uh, I've just taped uh, that gold in position so that uh, I can set it in there and uh, actually have it centered where I want. And so we're just going to open up this vise here. Me. That uh, unpleasant sound. Okay, we've got to be careful that we don't overdo this too. I might have to remelt that. Oh. All right. Well, it looks like I have to remelt the gold. So I don't think if I fold this and I hammer it, I don't think it's going to join up with itself very well. Yeah, unfortunately, I should have used a firmer piece of metal behind it. Good afternoon. It's another day. I'm just going down to the beach uh, this time to uh, remelt that gold that I messed up <laughs> uh, in the vise. I put a little bit too much uh, pressure into it and I didn't use a backing material that was hard enough. So the vise jaws, uh, the texture on the vise jaws came through into the gold. So I'm just going to uh, melt it down again in the crucible. But I thought today I would come out to the beach. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day here in coastal BC. And so down on the beach might be bright enough uh, that you'll actually be able to see it instead of it being overexposed like it was last time. I've already set up my fire brick and my torch. So I'm just gonna go head over there and uh, set up the camera. And we'll start melting it down. I didn't really go over this the, uh, in the other video uh, when I melted down the gold originally. But uh, this uh, in this container is just some borax and use this as a flux, um, especially for working with gold. And so I've already glazed this. Um, I did that off camera. So uh, to do that, you just take the torch and uh, put in some borax, heat it up red hot uh, to, to make a nice smooth surface in the crucible so the gold doesn't stick as much. different torch here. Uh, this is the one I used before. It's just ever so slightly breezy out here and so I think that was the problem before. But. Beautiful. Nice little bead of gold. Uh, like before, I had to uh, use the Gerber here to uh, bust it out of the crucible. You're not, you know, it's not a good idea to leave it, uh, leave it in the crucible uh, when it cools. You're supposed to pour it out, but anyway, it didn't really matter because of what I'm doing with it. That's all right. When we pound this flat, I'll use the hammer again and just lightly uh, flatten it out. Um, clean it up a little bit when I get it back to the tent and then we'll press it when it's uh, not the full size. I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit and then from there uh, I'll put it in the vise with a better piece of backing material. So, All right, well we're just going to flatten this nugget out just a little bit. So I think, I think what we're going to do is just press it, 
press it like this uh, to start with. <laughs> in the vise, I'll use, oop. Oh, that was close. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll flatten it out just a little bit more here. But basically, now that I have a, a thicker piece of aluminum uh, to use as the backing plate, it shouldn't take the imprints from the uh, vise jaw. Let's do it. That might be interesting actually to have the whole thing not fully visible. It might be a neat design anyway. I'm just gonna do it because I'm running out of time today. Oh yeah. That'd be the whole table. That turned out actually fairly well. That's what I'm after. When I polish that up, uh, that'll look all right. I'll put a, a hole in the last orbit there and I'll make the planets, uh, of course, arranged like I said, uh, according to my daughter's birthday. Now, I also have uh, a punch set here. So I'm going to stamp my daughter's initials into the back of this but I'll obviously do it when it's on the die, just so that I don't deform the orbits there. And that's gonna be the top. And we'll buff that up, obviously. Okay. So I just punched a, I just punched a hole through with uh, this awl. <laughs> uh, just no need to, uh, use a drill bit. All right, so I decided uh, I was going to try, <laughs> just make my own little makeshift buffing wheel. We'll see how well this works and hopefully I don't send it flying across the tent. Yeah, that works. All right. I'm just gonna use this stainless steel lock wire to make a uh, clasp or a connection, a loop uh, to attach it to this chain that I that I have here. It's uh, mounted on the uh, the chain, at least the temporary chain. I'm gonna get some, uh, like I said, very fine, very fine polish, and uh, maybe, I've got a very, very fine grit science sandpaper. I'll just take my time and very carefully polish this up to a, to a shine. Well, I have, uh, I have some 2000 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna cut this into an appropriate size and then just take my time this evening and uh, and really polish polish this up. Uh, and so it turned out okay. I'm 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 happy with how that turned out, uh, given you know given the tooling that I have here. Uh, but I thought it was a nice uh, nice gesture with this piece of pure gold. Uh, something a little poetic about refining some of my old gold uh, and then and then giving it as a gift to my to one of my children. So hope you found that interesting, and we'll see you next time.